Welcome to this video. You broke me. Who said that? It's me, Vern. What? Well, what, what do you want? What do you want, Vern? I want you to tell all the boys and girls what you did wrong. <sighs> okay, I made mistakes, but why are you talking in a voice like that? Well, Fellman Dave can't do a Norwegian accent. Besides, I've got sill <laughs> nylon lips. Oh, okay, that explains it. Okay, right, in this video, I'm going to go through what went wrong with this tent. Mistakes I made when he wasn't very happy about having to bail out. And I'm going to do the same things that I did with the Vern 1, which is going to be all the fun testing with the force gauge, applying force through the Suburito. And I'm also going to double pole. Now, I wanted to show you... Ow! What? You need to tell them about the double poling. I was coming to the double poling. Put that away. Okay, I'll double pole you. Let's just see what happens. Also, if this vis video isn't for you, have a look at this. This is the upcoming Lie 2. This look promises to be a really interesting tent, cross sleeper, triple pole tunnel tent, 9.5 millimeters, quite thick diameter and wall thickness poles. Promises to be a really interesting tent. I'll put a link below on to the Nor Tent website, but I believe it's going to be available in August. Now, the Vern 2 remains a fantastic tent, and I just need to do a little bit of fine pitching. You damn right you had. Oh, be just a word about the poles. What Nor Tent have elected to do is anybody buying a Vern 2 now will get the new poles. Now the old poles were fine, but these were, I believe, about 8.6 millimeters and 0.6 of a millimeter thick in the wall. And they've gone up to 9.5 millimeters and they're 0.72 millimeters thick at the wall. And that's made an extra 300 gram difference. So what Nortent have elected to do is go from the 17 gram original pegs down to the lighter weight 8 gram pegs to offset the difference in weight with the new poles that do seem pretty substantial. Now on the Vern 1 the poles have also been upgraded. Now I think with the old poles that were 8.5 six millimeters in diameter and they were 0.6 millimeter thick were really good and now the Vern 1 is being shipped with a nine millimeter pole that's I believe 0.72 millimeters in diameter so there's about a third of a millimeter thicker and that just uh, I believe there's a 150 gram increase in weight so they're just 600 grams and they are 776 grams so about 170 grams more but again with the Vern 1 what Nortent are doing it is now shipping it with the lighter weight pegs. Okay the first mistakes I made was pitching the tent too long and this tent doesn't like that and also there was a slight downhill bringing this down to a very low angle and this tent isn't optimum with its guide so let's make some changes just like we did with the Vern 1 with tucking this end in and extending this guy line but we'll just test the force on here first to compress this end in 10 kilos to get to that point if you remember with the Vern 1 that was 14 kilos. I wasn't kind of too happy with that but let's make some mods. Now the other mistake I made was being overly ambitious. Really what should one do in storms? Pitching 
a sheltered location. And I had the choice of doing that. I could have pitched in the lee of the hill. But what we'd do is tighten that and take the side poles out. And that just steepens that angle. And I've already extended the guy line. Okay, that's changed the force required to try and flatten the poles there to 12 and a half kilos. But it's not getting to that kind of collapse point at all. Much better. Now, these are the older uh, 8.6 millimeter poles. Let's put the new poles on. Now these cross poles are the new 9.5 millimeter poles. So remember this, this is the port for the stove. I haven't had a chance to use it, but that'll be a fantastic feature in the winter. Right, let's try the end of the tent with the new poles. It's a lot stiffer. 14 kilos. All right, that's all my body weight on there, 16 kilos. And you can see it's depressing here. It's bringing this pole down a little bit, but this isn't going in that much and it's not going to invert. So now I think that's at least and beyond the matching what the Vern 1 was with the old pole set. In this configuration, the Nortent Vern 2 is a fantastically capable, versatile, spacious four season tent. Now, properly guyed out with the upgraded poles, this tent, I'm confident with strong winds, I would say I would be comfortable up to 50 mile an hour. Now, whether it would be capable of more than that, I don't know. But we've got one or two other tricks up our sleeve to try first. And that includes the old trekking pole. Now, just takes a couple of ticks to loosen that. Put a twist in the guy line. Pop that there. Maybe not quite so high. Just there and tighten that up and that will remain in place and you can see what that does there is changes the angle significantly right that's going 20 kilos there and i really don't want to put any more force on there but, uh, yeah really strong good to double pull one would build the poles first undo the guys on the appropriate section thread it through into the appropriate pole sleeve and then tuck the other side so you just bend the pole over thread it through there's plenty of space and then you would start undoing alternate clips and click it onto the new pole regain as you go now, keep watching to the end if you are a Nortent Vern 2 fan, because I've got a giveaway for you. Just going to try that before I put that one in. Now, that's pretty stiff there. Pretty good. And that one is markedly stronger. Then it'll just be a case of re -gain, or if you've elected to double pole in the first place, this process shouldn't take too much longer because you'd just be applying the poles at the same time. Now in this format, double poled, this represents an extremely strong expedition tent. And don't forget, double poling is not unusual in the extreme expedition tent capability and category. Okay, that's 20 kilos. That's all of my body weight on there. Whew, and I don't want to climb on there. So double poling at the end means a little bit of difference, but the overall vertical structure is considerably stronger. Right, trekking pole back in here and uh, 
I'm not even going to be able to move that at all. I saw my body weight on there now. 25 kilos to that point. I don't want to do any more. Now, should I climb on this tent? I don't think that would be a great idea. It's a large tent, although it's really well guyed out and super strong with the poles in place. Giveaway time. Nortent have kindly sent me an extra pole set for the Vern 2. These are the upgraded poles. So if you'd like to win these, please have a look at my Instagram account and send me a message with a photograph of you using your Vern 2. I'll wait throughout July so people can see this and uh, I'll select randomly one of the persons on there from my Instagram account. Please remember to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to have first look at the upcoming Nor Tent Lie 2. There's also a bivy as well that looks really intriguing. Okay, boys and girls, this is a large tent. Totally misguided doing this. Let's just see what happens. Oh. Right, there's 87 kilos on this tent. I shouldn't have done that, but I've decided to. <laughs> really super strong. Bit of a stunt, I know, but illustrates the capabilities of this tent. <laughs> right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's some mods to the Vern 2 to make it super strong and acknowledging my mistakes from before.